Hey guys, happy Friday. Wow, well, it's been a long time since I've done a video, but look at all that snow. It's a beautiful day. The sun is still shining, but it is so super cold. Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Burns Cradle and I seem to have been in hibernation for a little bit. <laughs> it has been like extremely cold you guys. Um, some of you may <laughs> in Canada may have known how cold the north has been getting. Um, we're at like minus 43 Celsius this morning which is I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit I'm on my computer <laughs> there's Francis and I a long time ago oh we love hiking we love this is where I grew up I grew up at the Pi airport and now it's abandoned and um, because it was all government housing it was a government community and the government decided that they no longer wanted to support a community living there so they told everyone to leave and we all moved off and now the land is is nothing as you can see and oh i have no idea what that was oh it's my okay i'll be right back so this is my tablet extreme cold warning no. Okay, somewhere. I have to use my couch so I can film this because I'm holding the camera with my minus 26 degrees Celsius right now, even though it's beautifully and sunny, but the wind chill is minus 31 Celsius, minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. But with the wind chill, it's minus 24. <clears throat> it's actually not that, well, I mean, cold. I mean, it's been colder. <sighs> Extreme wind chills, values of minus 45 to minus 50. That's in Celsius, by the way. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just... By the way, it's kind of hard for me to breathe in um, extreme cold weather, so that's another reason why I'm indoors. Um, some of the daycare kids just left, and every time the door opens, some cold air rushes in, and it it kind of affects my lungs a little bit. Minus but um, fifty degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's how cold. I'm so sorry if it's so far away. Oh my. Minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how cold it can be here. Overnight when the sun is down. Okay, I'm going to... Hey guys, so who remembers who's in my travel bag? I haven't brought this out in a while. Oh my goodness, my my collection is so huge. Plus, I've been so busy lately with the newborn or newborn kids. I mean daycare kids. I seriously have to vacuum. So let's see who's in my traveling bag. Here are some pants. Here is a beautiful sweater that my mom crocheted for me when I was pregnant with Jeremy. Uh, we weren't sure if he was going to be a girl or a boy, so my mom did um, that in the bonnet hat. It used to have a, a lace, laced, um, um, <clears throat> like string, but I'm not sure what happened to that over the years. 
um, cause Jeremy is now 18 years old. So this is like 18 years old. <laughs> um, and came with, she also made this sweater to go with it. And, um, when she, like these buttons are pink. And the reason why is because I thought for sure that Jeremy would be a girl. I, I, I thought for sure that he would be a girl. So my mom put in pink buttons and she said that if he would ever be a boy that she would switch them. But she never did. <laughs> um, <clears throat> which is fine. It's just an opened. It only buttons at the collar. So it's no big deal. It's not like you're going to see a whole bunch. Um, I'm pretty sure that she had lace in here too. But like to lace it at the collar I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me correct but guess what guys Jeremy is out of the closet so yes in a way I guess he is a girl <laughs> but um so my instincts were right about Jeremy the very I thought for sure he'd be a girl and yes he is definitely girly but Let's see. So I have a bonnet. I have a sweater. I have pants. Well, I have a sleeper here. <clears throat> Fire truck sleeper. So we know that it's a boy in here. I have um, some diapers. These are the Honest Print Camping. One of my favorite um, bottles because these are the bottles that my real sons used. I couldn't breastfeed. I was unable to. So I did bottle feed my babies. Um, I tried with Jeremy. I tried with Brendan. And with Eric, I thought I couldn't with the first two. So why am I going to with the third? So I didn't even try with Eric. It was straight to the bottle. But... This is a lotion and water, and it's like, I made up this bottle years ago, and it's still strong. It's not yucky or anything. Like, you know how downy it hardens up over time? Lotion and water, for me personally, it doesn't do anything. Oh, I love these bottles. And this is a, I'm trying to get the lid off. But it's hard with my hand there. Ooh, <laughs> there's some hair fluffy on it. I think it's part of the steel, maybe. Or, I don't know. It's from something. Oh, maybe it's from me just pretending. Good. I think, unless the seal is starting to break. But I don't feel wet. Hmm. It even smells like the old vintage. It smells like a, almost like an old balloon. <laughs> and then I have one of these. And this is also lotion and water. And look, it's still super sh going on strong. No, no yucky film on the, <clears throat> on the top edges or anything. Um, it's not curdling at all. And this bottle has a Nani's no hole nipple on it, so it doesn't leak or anything. And this is going on strong for this is probably almost three years old now. I know. I thought, hey, I don't mind washing up my fake bottles, but if I don't have to, then I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. Okay. What else is in here? By the way, this bag is originally an Avon consultant bag. Let's um, see, it's by Avon. It has all these cool compartments, so I've been using it like a diaper bag. It's on this side. Oh, it's a lid. So this. I'm gonna, I want to make up more of a mock diaper bag. This is only a travel stuff that I brought for traveling. I didn't quite make it into a mock diaper bag yet. Because I'd love to add some other props, like a brush or some, um, oh, here's some feet. I'm trying to 
pick him up. Ooh, what's this in here? Some socks. Ooh, and a winter outfit for him. And this will fit him. It has little closed mittens on it, closed booties on it, and it has a teddy bear. It's beautiful. And it's by George. And I'm pretty sure that I bought this from a secondhand store for like two or three dollars. Canadian. <laughs> and let's, oh, what's this? Oh, and it's a hat. Aww. Missy hat. That's all. But I'd love to add like baby clippers and baby lotion and um, diaper rash cream. Yeah, I should, I should work on that. So, oh, and there's a I don't think I have anything in here. No. See, I could add some wipes. I could add so much to that. So, let's see who's in this beautiful hospital blanket. Oh, look. It's my twin, A. Wyatt Coleman. Um, oh, he's in this, um... I have no idea what things are called, the side onesies, um, are they like a hospital gown kind of thing? Long sleeve, because he has quarter arms, and his, the twin A can have a full pacifier, so, and here's what his, oh it's messy, but it needs to be combed. This is my very, very, very first custom I got from Wendy of Weeby Dolls. And look, he has a scratch right there. Isn't that sweet? Aw, uh, okay, I need the... I can't stand looking at him like that. I don't mind him like this. Or like this. That was one of the things about the twin A that I didn't really like, was that this open mouth... So I just keep a dummy in it. But I love the fact that he could take a full pacifier or a full bottle. I love that part. And he can also suck his thumb. But yeah, I have these outfits for him. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you have a really great weekend. A happy, happy Friday. Because that's what it is. You know who says that? Happy, happy Friday. Let me see. I'm trying to find this coaster. Oh, yeah. Happy, happy, happy. Happy Friday. That's what Phil says. Oh, yeah. My son bought me these coasters for for Christmas a few years ago. Because we used to love watching his show. Work hard, nap hard. You know what, though? I don't nap. I don't nap, but I do sleep long at night. I need at least... Eight to nine hours. This one says you ain't a redneck unless you're off the road. <laughs> Molly says. So um, yeah. My fa my dad is really proud to be a redneck. He, frog the other white meat although i never tried frog meat before my dad has he has eaten frog legs but the thing is the frogs where we live are really really tiny but the frogs where my dad used to live in ontario southern ontario close to the border um they have these huge giant bullfrogs and they're ugly they're huge and ugh, i remember my brother caught one and they're just way too big for me, like, <sighs> huge. They're like the size of a um, soccer ball, maybe? They're huge. But the frogs here, where I come from, we used to not frog hunt, but we used to catch frogs. And they're just tiny, just like little in, in the palm of your hand frogs, tree frogs. And we also used to catch gardener snakes all the time. And uh, try and take them home as pets, but my mom would freak out and she would say, No, get that snake away from me. You're never having snakes as pets, so don't even think about it. 
But we used to love catching them and then playing with them for a bit and then releasing them. Um, yeah, I miss living at the airport. <sighs> so yeah, anyways, ramble, ramble, ramble. Have a great weekend, you guys. Love you. Thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. And hopefully very soon tomorrow, because Francis is working. Hopefully tomorrow I can do a video for you guys. Love you. Match a hand, guys. Match it. Match it. Love you, guys. Touch a hand. Touch it. See you, guys. Love you. Bye.